Hey there. A while ago, I was looking at how to make AI 3D graphic 3D meshes um, for things like Blender, 3ds Max, and Maya using AI because it soon all came along. And you can see this one I looked like looked at CSM dot AI makes some really cool images from images. It makes some really cool 3D from images. And I've noticed they've got something a really new good feature. So many of you have probably used how to go at Korea, which needs a waiting list, but um, they're CSM seems to have this feature now, and I've been making some things here. You've, I've, here are some also models, you know, Nietzsche, um, Beethoven, Bowie, kind of interesting seeing how I could get them into 3D and sculpt them, develop them. Obviously at the moment they're not that great. I think if you upgrade the plan, the models are, are better and quicker. But have a look at this, real-time sketched 3D. So again, this is real-time sketching, and it basically you, it starts off with a rabbit, so you, you type in a prompt. So what, I'm, what a really good feature is here, we've got add image. So if I add a, an image, I'm gonna go down to some kind of a linear draw every day that I did on paper. You can see it's newsprint, it's all creased, quite like that. Um, <laughs> at the moment, it still thinks it's a rabbit. So what we need to do is get rid of the 3D asset of a rabbit. So I'm just gonna type in um, sketch, of a woman looking over her left shol shoulder in an urban futuristic environment. Okay, so now it's come up with a kind of more of a, oh, it's, oh, it's done lots of things. Interesting. So at the moment, that looks nothing like that. The way you can get around that is you can expand this, whoops, Go to advanced options and the strength. So the strength here is not the strength of the image, it's the strength of this prompt. So if I take down the prompt strength, ta da, you can see now it's, well, that's a bit, the proportions in that are a bit strange, but let's just take that down a bit. So I, I think, yeah, okay, so it's got that. Okay, and then I can start, if I start drawing in red or whatever color which I can pick here, you can see it. And, and sorry, I'm not using my tablet today. I had problems and I just wanted to get this video made for reference. So I just thought I'll just use my mouse. But you can see you can get a lot of control if you do your own drawings on paper, then just photograph them as well. I'll put a star in, kind of like symbols, strange symbols on people and things. If you look at my drawings, draw every day is James Ubalart. I, I like strange symbols that you know, we don't really know what they mean um, in some ways, or, or perhaps we do. Um, you know, sort of urban kind of symbols, stars, and things like that. So what, what's my prompt again? Futuristic environment. Let's type with rain, um, with, oh, no, let's, with flowers drifting in the background. I don't think that's gonna do, whoops, sorry. Okay. I don't think it's going to do much. If I increase the strength of that, it'll probably start adding flowers. Okay, well, it thinks the stars are flower. That's interesting. That's kind of the quirk of AI, isn't it? And then we've got the city. That's a interesting thing. The, the thing is with um, AI, it, I have problems getting my kind of particular style, which is kind of an expressionistic kind of rough line style. It always wants to manga eyes it, which is not necessarily a bad thing, but it's not really my thing. I'm going to take down the strength. I like anim, you know, I, I'm int interested in art, all types of high and low end art. I, I really like um, sort of animation kind of drawings sort of from the sort of 70s, 80s retro stuff, but from sort of Eastern Europe and French kind of animations rather than manga. I really, you know, just, just wanna, although manga's a good thing in a way, it's, it's not what I'm interested in. See, it's, it's giving a kind of very Asiatic face, which is nice, but um, I, I think it must just be the, just does that. Let's take the strength down. Okay, that's kind of interesting, isn't it? And then what I can do is I can click on the brush size. Let's try and see if it'll pick up flowers drifting. Oh, there we go. Look at that's lovely. Oh, that's gone. That was nice, wasn't it? almost had that as a flower. Let's try and make it recognize the flower a bit more by making the centers white, kind of like a, 
I got wiped it there. There you go. So that's very blossomy, isn't it? And um, yeah, just add another color in somewhere. Which we do. It's this one that's the color. The other two are the background colors. So red. Let's put in a blue. Oops. So then again, what have I done? Okay, it's there. Let's just put in some blue stuff here. And I've seen others, not on this one CSM, but you can rig up a webcam and draw in real life, which is amazing. Then it will do the real time drawing for you from real life drawing, which I prefer. Or you can also rig it up to um, something like Blender and do a sculpt, and then it will come up with an image from that along with your prompt. Another thing it would be good is if you could perhaps make things in clay or construction work and see if that would feed into an image as well. Okay, well, that's kind of nice. It looks a bit like a block print or something. I'm not sure if I can move this. Yeah, I mean, this image needs to be aligned correctly. I don't know how that quite works. Anyway, you can see that's really nice. And what you can do is you can actually now make this image into 3D. So if you do this, it, it takes it to the, the stack, this generation process. And you can see I've been messing around with these. I don't know if it's made an image yet. It's in process, I don't want to. Sometimes this kicks in and takes ages. And they're all lining up, um, this one as well. I think the more, the, the least realistic ones just come up as a flat plane. And again, it's not, it's gonna take ages, but this one, as you can see, actually it's better to do it on the preview here, isn't it, the spinner. It just came up with this flat image, which is okay. These are still processing, I'm not gonna, bore you with that but again just try it out and it's a really good thing because there's no waiting list you can dive right into this and you don't need to have to set up anything up you just need to log into csm so there's a rabbit and if you're really not inspired just draw rabbits it can be as rubbishy drawing as you want i like that actually what's it going to do it's going to do something come on come on rabbits oh there we go <laughs> and it's made it a wave. Very cute. Thank you so much for watching. Remember you can subscribe to my channel, James Ogle Art. And I'm going to be doing some more AI videos shortly. And I'm also going to do some videos based on what I'm kind of very interested in at the moment as an artist is, is kind of 3D graphics for um, contemporary artists. So if you're making installations or setting up things, I, I tutor people this as well and I help them to use 3D to plan the installations or add elements into their installations like 3D printing and, and see how it works in 3D before they try on reality. Any questions or comments, let me know. And have a good whatever time of day it is, wherever in the world you are, and bye for now.